Cheers guys, welcome back to my channel. And we are having Middle Eastern food tonight. Okay, I cannot wait to get into some hummus. One of my favorite appetizers, okay? I love me some hummus. So you guys, I am rocking the Flawichi Magnetic Lashes. I am rocking the Flawichi Golden Lip and Eye Glitter on my eyes. If you guys know me by now, you know I love yellows and golds. I use a lot of gold on my eyes. And um, I'm also rocking that Black Car Lip Kit. This is Electric Midnight Purple. Okay. And that's what we're watching. Oh, um, yes. start off with some um, hummus? Yes, I want to start off with some hummus, definitely. Um, with some olives. Oh, not a little olives, but you can get some I want some olives. olives. What kind of appetizer you want to do, darling? Um, you guys, this is one of our favorite restaurants. It's just really laid back today. Oh, it's we should really do the Mezza calm Sampler. calm and cool. What? Yes. We should do the Mezza Sampler. It comes with your choice of any three items from hummus, moussaka, baba ganache, zaruka, or grape leaves. I think that's perfect. I want to do the hummus, the grape leaves, and you pick them. Okay, hummus, grape leaves. Okay, what is the moussaka? You guys, it's really laid out. This is a really nice Middle, Middle Eastern restaurant. It's called Pharaoh. They have amazing food. Uh, authentic uh, Middle Eastern food. Good, and we're also going to be hookah, you know, doing a little hookah. Just really relaxed and chilling. You know, it's just another day for me and my baby. You know, it is what it is. That's what we do. Cheers, guys. And I want to encourage all of you guys. Okay, that's the I didn't want to talk about this. Got that I want to encourage all of you guys who have been in long term relationships like I have to date make sure that you guys continue to date try something new do new things we've been here before but um I want to do the i'm just saying um, try something new um i don't know if all of you guys have ever tried uh, middle eastern food or anything it would be a great switch of things in my opinion try the hummus the grape leaves uh, as a great appetizer the hibiscus tea um, I would suggest you uh, do the lamb chops. Lamb is, and I'm a person who don't go really like lamb, but the way it's cooked in the Middle Eastern way, okay, oh my God, up. it's incredible. Do the lamb, do the kebabs, chicken, steak. Uh, then they also have the ground beef Here's kebab. what we need to do. The Pharaoh's Palace Mixed Grill. My baby got a, a white Russian that needs to be stirred. Yeah, it becomes chocolate milk after you stir it. No, it's supposed to get white. Yeah, it's delicious, but See, it has a like... It's getting whiter. It has a chocolate milk taste. This is a mixed Russian, not a white Russian, but it's very nice. They're known for how strong their drinks are. So look, she even told us, she's like, our drinks are strong. Okay. So listen, we're going to get the favorite. Palace. When in Rome, do as the Romans. Listen, we're gonna get the favorite of those all there already. What'd you choose? I wanna do the uh, the mix and the lamb chops. I also want a Mediterranean salad. Okay, what you want? That sounds great. Mediterranean salad, Egyptian salad. Lamb shakes, lamb chops, filet mignon. You can filet me on kebab. Yeah, that comes with the uh, mix. So what am I getting? Are we gonna get the mix? The Pharaoh's mix combination. And then we're gonna get what is that? Because I think I want um, a salmon kebab. Look, the, the Pharaoh's Palace mix grill. Hey guys, so tonight we are eating at. Pharaoh's Palace, and tonight the menu is. We 
we're gonna be having dinner for two. So we are going to be having chicken kebab, uh, filet beef kebab, uh, lamb chops. We're gonna be having grilled vegetables and Egyptian rice. Um, we're also gonna be hookah, doing hookahs and having we cocktails. Extra order it's just salmon. really relaxing, okay? Hey, we should add an order of the salmon today. A salmon kebab? Let's do it. So we're gonna we're gonna add a salmon kebab to that, you guys. And we'll get back to you later so you can see it all. Oh, okay. Bye guys. I'll be back. Welcome back to the Pharaoh's Palace. It's the doll hall, okay? Tell them hoes that we clearly not the same. Period. Okay. Where you go? So what, what hookah flavor did we get, babe? We got mixed berry with mint. And it's right. a delicious combination. Watch it bubble. So who thought of this combination, baby? Amen. <laughs> he, he's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna be using my little, I'm gonna try my little hookah, okay. Let's try it. Order. Oh. Yeah. Wait, which oh. way goes in there, that? Yeah. Like I'm that. tripping. Got the mint and the mixed berry. Oh, this is nice, right? It's delicious. Oh, this is so nice. Good. And it tastes so good on my throat. Oh my God. That is really nice. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna eat a little bit of these off there. Yeah, it's very nice. You like the hummus, I love it. Mm -hmm. Did we pray? Mm -hmm. Please thank you for brushing your body, brush your hands and make it. Thank you for everything you're doing. Amen. Amen. Let's eat. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. It's so good, right, babe? I love a light appetizer. Mm. This is a light appetizer and it really leaves room for... Mm. the food. That was so good. The hummus is awesome. Oh my God, it's crazy. What is that? It's like a pepper hummus. What's this? It's like a pepper hummus. It's like peppers. Peppers on the side. Uh huh. But it's not spicy. Okay. Peppers are amazing. That's what I like about an authentic experience. You get a whole nother, yep. you know, flavor. I don't really like they have such a euphoria. Because when you get it authentically from the culture, they add things that you never would have had. I've never had these red peppers with my hummus, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Mm. All this music in the background, 
I'm gonna have to mute it out. Oh, it's delicious. The hummus is wonderful. Is this red peppers? Oh yeah, it's delicious. All of it. Very good. You like it? I've never had that with the hummus anywhere else. Really? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. it's and the hope is good too? Yes. Yeah, the hope is delicious. Yeah, I like it. It turned out to be amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a good combination. Awesome. You guys, this is a stuffed grape leaf. Delicious. And usually grape leaves are stuffed with ground beef. And they're served cold. But this is a dish that I could also eat hot if they did it hot. Yeah, that could but be this really is a good hot. Yeah, it could be good hot. It's served cold. It's yeah. an acquired taste. But being that I've been eating Middle Eastern and Persian food for so long, I actually like it now. But when I first tried grape leaves, I, it wasn't as good to me. Mm. Mint. Middle Eastern food has a lot of mint in it. That's one of the flavors that we don't use a lot in our culture. It's mint. You taste the mint? They use a lot of mint, a lot of yogurt, chickpeas. Oh, that feels great, Lee. Okay. Let me take this half. That's all I need. You don't want that one? The thing about this food is we don't eat it that often. So when you when you go, you want to get so much. You know, you want to get so many varieties. Oh, yeah. Because you don't eat it all the time. I can't wait to take the salmon. I don't think we had any salmon last time. We didn't do the salmon last time. No, we didn't. It's going to be so good on the rice. The salmon going to be good. I'm glad we did this. This is the I'll be back. Full course. I'm gonna have that from the time of year. It's nice. Love oh, this is so sweet, baby. You want some time with me? Mm -hmm. My baby said it's so nice to have some time with me. Isn't that nice? The music they're playing, they're gonna meet me. I'm gonna get copyright playing. This hookah nice shot. I like it. Oh, this is so Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Oh, beautiful. We have a salmon. Let me go get the other rice and make sure. Oh, wow. Let's look at the food, you guys. Okay, come on, baby. Oh my goodness, look I at like the pyramid. The pyramids, it's like Egypt. Yeah, the and pyramid spreads so are so nice. Hey, <laughs> so do you guys have any? Uh, what beer do you guys have? We have Stella, Heineken, Blue Moon, Corona, Guinness, 
Texas, Miller Lite, Budweiser. You guys, we got that. Um, Salmon. Salmon. And, and we have 420. Like, I'll take a 420. Have there a 420? 420. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we have the lamb chops. Baby, what are, um, I gotta ask you something. What is that vegetable called that we love so much? And it looks like this, this yellow thing that tastes like yeah, garlic. You guys, this tastes like uh, garlic. And it's amazing. Is that, that's not eggplant, is it? I don't think so. You guys, this thing right here, wait, not that. Well, maybe they just garlic up everything. It's this vegetable right here, you guys. It looks like something to a squash. The squash. Well, the way they season their vegetables, they taste like pure garlic, and it's amazing. Look at the little Egyptian pyramids. So cute. So over here we have lamb chops, we have chicken and beef. And we got uh, filet mignon. And filet mignon, lamb chops, chicken and regular beef, and then we have salmon as well. All right. Too much for our bodies. Thank you for the blessings we have. We're so grateful and thankful. And be everybody needs help. And thank you. And thank you. Amen. Amen. You guys, this food looks so good. We had to pray again. Okay. We're about to. Thank you so much. Our waitress, our hostess is everything. So you know we're going to tip her nicely. That's what you want. You want a good hostess. You want a good waitress. But then if you get a good waitress, you treat them right. Because I worked in the, um, what do you call it, where you work off tips and stuff? Um, I forget. <laughs> That's not what it's called. Working in uh, the service industry. Okay. Of course, I worked in the service industry where we work mainly off of tips. So, you know, people like to talk about their bad experiences. But um, when they have a good experience, you should talk about that as well. And always remember to tip the people that serve you, they are very important, okay? And if oh they're kind God. to you, take it. so good. Take it back. No, oh, that's a nice way. I'm not trying to sound it first. Y'all want the squash and the zucchini oh, wow. and the peppers. My husband don't even eat vegetables. Uh, I'm eating it like and he's eating the vegetables. Like okay. Which I'm glad because I told him you have to eat vegetables, Papa. Like you have yeah, you to eat so vegetables. Good. You make vegetables taste good. Mm, thank you, baby. Mm. Mm. Look at that beautiful wow. salmon. It's so good. It's ridiculous. Mm. I could eat everything on that menu. Oh, yeah. 
all day. All day. Like a, coming here on a damn food show, you'll eat everything. Uh, Look at your best dishes. These little plates come out, and you'll be like, oh my god. Uh, it's like, it's so like, um, comfort. You guys like zucchini, squash, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Lamb chop one. Lamb chop two one. That's like the literally the only way I like my lamb chops. It's so good. It's the only way I like my lamb chops. And I usually like them crispier than that. Mm. Okay, now this is beef. Because we have an assortment of meats. No, take this home about it. But, nah, I think it's not. Chicken bone, he can bite through. Okay. You want to take, take Bonnie some lamb chop bones? That would be cute, Bonnie. Um, they'll be like, this is for my dog. Right. This is for my dog. Okay. The vegetables are so seasoned. Oh my god. That's a lot, right? I'm like, he's gonna take a break. I mean, he can pull him. He don't take breaks. Get this food for me. I know, right? Get the damn milk. How's your meal, baby? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the salmon over there. I know, it's amazing. The salmon is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Yeah. I dream for the way they season their vegetables. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you in my next mukbang. And we'll do a few highlights after this. But we're gonna finish eating. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. No matter what you do. Take God with you and you will make it out. Okay? Bye. Oh, we'll take out the brownie. Take out the brownie. Sorry. Oh yeah, so good. How was it? Did you like that brown beef right It's so good that brown that beef patty. It's like a it's like a filet mignon.
Yeah. It's like a filet mignon meets meatloaf. Yeah. Is what it is. Or a Sasbury steak. Right. It's a good meal, man. I want to just put on a little bit more, guys. A little bit more. Day off. That's downtown. Downtown Atlanta? Uh-huh. It's my spot. This is electric and like purple with a little bit on. A little bit more on. Because I'm about to hit this hookah. Uh-huh. A little bit more right there. They open up, I think, afternoon, like, kind of jogging. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's cute. That's cute. And it goes good with my nails. Look at that. Yes. We're about to hit this mint with mixed berry. Um... Okay. We're about to have some drinks, you guys. That's a nice we are done one. eating. This is a mixed berry um, martini. And it, it looks so good with my nails and my lip color. I like this good. martini matches the Flauchi lip kit. But look how beautiful this is, you guys. Ooh. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? So let's give it a taste. It's like a purple thing. Let's give it a taste. Oh, look, I have a little flower in it. It's so cute. I'm not going to eat the flower. I learned my lesson eating flowers. I ate a flower before, and it gave me the runs real bad. Thanks, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Mm. Tell them what I'm drinking. Georgia Brew. Sweetwater 420. This is delicious. I'm going to be honest. Is it good? I could slurp this up in one drink. Mm. Like. Is it like hibiscus? Like the hibiscus tea we had here? It Fez? literally can be used as a shot. Do you remember the hibiscus tea? I can shoot had this. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Jim, but I can shoot this. I wish they had the hibiscus tea that. That, that, that tea was the best ever in the world. We got that tea. <laughs> so tender. I felt like having a little more meat. Hold on. Meat. Mm -hmm. It's on the menu. I got to pee, but I'm not going to go to the restroom here. I'm holding my pizza till I get home. So... I do have to pee, but it's not bad. Okay. I could literally drink that like one shot. A ten dollar, how much is that? Twelve, thirteen dollar, thirteen dollar shot. Yeah. Like a berry martini. Double fisting. Okay. Can I have a little? Try it. Stay on the path of what I've been drinking, so I don't, you know, weird hangover. You know. That'll get you. I don't want no weird hangover. That drink will get up on you. Well, you know it, that blueberry. But you know what? You have your alcohol and you have your antioxidants together in one. How wonderful. But I'm not eating any of the berries. Well, still, you're getting the juices. Maybe I don't know. Same thing. But the they're not putting the, the blueberry No, they're just throwing them. Providing the, antioxidants. But it's not really. But it they is. didn't squeeze it in there. But it's still toxified. No, it's not. And, and naturally they just threw the berries in there, Josh. You're making. But that provides extra to the drink. No, this, it's not that serious, you yeah. guys. They just threw some blueberries in here. Research what I'm They saying. didn't even use blueberry juice. I can't research this cocktail. They're not doing that. I'm a blue biologist. He wants this to be I'm a, a nutritionist cocktail. It's a cocktail. 
I'm about to get lit on. I'm a blue biologist. I know things. Go check your blue biology and tell me I'm wrong. I love the way my, my magnetic lashes work. You guys, these are the magnetic. Oh, they're so cute. Fly Uchi magnetic lashes. I put them on in seconds. Seconds. I'm going to share a secret with you guys. First, I put on my own um, eyeliner and look forward to the Fly Uchi eyeliner coming soon. I put on my own eyeliner. Once I get the eyeliner that I want, then I take the magnetic eyeliner and put it over and put it by my eyes and then put the lashes on. Because to, for me, I don't want to use the magnetic eyeliner as my regular um, eyeliner alone because it doesn't act the way that regular eyeliner acts. And also when I'm putting, because when I'm putting my lash on, it'll start gluing, it, the lash will attract the tail. I don't want my lash attracted to the tail. I only put my magnetic eyeliner from here to here, only for the lash, okay? So that's one of my little secrets, okay? Because I love a big, thick Egyptian um, cat eye, okay? Where's my hookah thing? Where's my hookah bell? I bet I bet I moved it. I bet I did it. Cause that's what I did. Fuck the shit out. Still gonna wear that Gucci though. Still gonna wear that Gucci. It's the fragrance. If do you ever be like, look at my high end girl over there? No, every day. My bank account says, look at her. Every day. <laughs> But I can hit the account every day. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that, babe. The account hits you, though. I don't hit that account every day. The account hits you. I'm, I'm very good at splurging on a budget. You got the account on automatic. Tell me my budget, and I'll splurge on it. You ain't got no budget. My husband is funny. Oh, no he said I ain't got no budget. You see how he do? You see how he do me? He come for me, and then he say, babe, you ain't got no budget. Be trying to see if I'm gonna spaz out or something. I guess. Ten years, you guys. Ten years. Who like does that? Who does that with somebody you don't really love? Just somebody trying to put a budget on us. Uh, excuse me. We'll it's been hell though. Every time it's ten years. You don't get here. Every time somebody tries to put a budget on without me, some I type break of hell. The budget. Break the budget, baby. Every time, break it. I'm really I feeling Fendi lately. Like, like look, people. I used to never really be a big Fendi girl. I was always just a big Gucci girl. But I'm feeling Fendi, and Fendi got a big um, 30 to 50 percent sale going on right now. So get into that Fendi. Yeah, I ain't never really been a Fendi girl, but I'm starting to rock Fendi a lot. Just like 420 says, don't float the mainstream. Right. Blow she says, what budget? I love my husband. We do drive each other insane, but let me tell you something about that man. That man to kill over me. He might go crazy sometimes, but he loves his wife. We do. I'm sorry. I know y'all white hoes and y'all Mexican hoes. I know y'all bitches by my name. Y'all might can have him if we break up. But while we together, y'all can't have him. Do what you Here, this is the thing. Look at this.
It was a custom piece. It says Heidi Klum. This is the H. Covered in diamonds. One of the diamonds missing. This is the fly. It's a custom piece. Y'all see that? One, two, three, four. You see the four diamonds that's missing? But I've had this for years. I've had it for years. I gotta get, and, and I got it because I wanna go get this fixed. I actually wanna get this fixed. So I see. It was an ankle bracelet, but I'm just gonna wear it as a bracelet when I get it fixed. But girl, I can't find my, um, baby, I can't find my hookah piece. I'm gonna have to use yours. You're gonna have lipstick on your mouth. But I do got on matte. Yeah, I don't know what I did with mine. I hate to put, hate to put lipstick all in your oh, mouth. So like I told y'all, I do mint and mixed berry. You guys, we ate and drank and we're done. We and, okay, looks like a vagina. And that's the clitoris right there. He's like a big baby after he's eaten. He's ready to party and sleep. Thank you so much. Thank you, beautiful. He's ready to party and sleep after that, baby, right? Yes, food combo. What kind of damage did you do? Let me see. I'm nosing, honey. I want to see. Oh yeah, go ahead and have a look at the bill. This is what it takes to have fun outside of the house, people. So there's the bill, you guys. All right.